Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious batch of corned beef spring rolls. Now the reason why I'm making these today, of course, is a couple of reasons. One, I want to use my air fryer because it's sitting on my countertop and I've had many people ask, do you have any recipes? Two, I want to incorporate a nice dip for dipping our spring rolls in made with mother's uh, mustard sauce we did a, a little while back and you could make this recipe today with fresh corned beef sliced in just little pieces and you could use as well a can of corned beef so if that interests you and you like to make some stick around and let's get started course our mother's mustard sauce that we made a little while back by a friend of ours Jennifer gave us her mother's recipe and I believe it was her mom's recipe as well so we're going to be using that for a dip but right here on the table we got of course small wonton wraps you could use the large ones I got slivers of corned beef and I just got that sliced at the deli, and, uh, but you could use the can. I got recipes for using canned corned beef. I'll share those links. And of course, the link to Mother's uh, Mustard Sauce. I got a small onion cut in pieces, one uh, celery stick, a small carrot just done in shavings, and you can do it smaller than that too, and two cups of cooking cabbage, um, and that's just in little shavings as well. We got some water for um, wiping on the wontons and I'll show you that as we go. So let's go get this frying so as we can make those spring rolls. I'm gonna be using about a tablespoon full of oil. I'm using, um, I guess, olive oil here today and I'm gonna toss all of those vegetables in the frying pan. And I'm going to toss in as well half a teaspoonful of black pepper and half a teaspoonful of sea salt. So that's all we need to do there. And we're going to get this frying, tossing it everywhere. I'm also going to toss in there about a tablespoonful of sesame oil. I love the smell of sesame oil and it makes your vegetables taste so nice in spring rolls or in any stir fry really. So we're, what we're doing here now is basically just cooking this until it softens and then we'll add in our corned beef shavings and a uh, clove of garlic. I'll tell you that now as we go. It smells amazing. Now I covered it just to get the cabbage cooking that little bit more. And now I'm going to toss in the corned beef, about two cups. All you got to do is just toss that corned beef in with the cabbage and vegetables. So now I'm going to let you decide how, how you like your cooked vegetables. Cook it until it's tender, cook it until it's overcooked or part cooked. It doesn't matter because I like crunchy vegetables in... Um, in those little spring rolls as well and then all we need to do after you get to that stage that you like we're going to be putting in there one garlic clove i'm going to just press it in with my press and mix that through because we don't want to burn that garlic that's all you need to do there so first I'll just make this dip really quick. We got a quarter of cup of sour cream. And if you don't want to use sour cream, you could use a plain yogurt. I'm going to be putting in here about two tablespoonfuls of that mother's mustard sauce. And I'll share that link with you. And a couple of dashes of some hot sauce, of course. Doesn't matter what one, that one is red out there, but you could use whatever hot sauce you got available. And we're gonna mix that in, and then I'm gonna uh, dash a little bit of salt and pepper in there as well. Just to make a little bit of a dip. 
just a dash of salt and pepper and I think I need to do another dash of that hot sauce because you know you can't have um, a little bit of hot sauce and that's it there I'm gonna put that in the fridge we'll get making those spring rolls so pretty much all you need to do with your, with your wontons is just wipe uh, some water on the ends of course I got my board totally wet here but just on the ends so that you could bring it in together then you're going to take a nice helping of the vegetables and corned beef and put in the middle now pretty much you can make as many of these if you as you want uh, but I just got down on the recipe that is for 12 but certainly it's not just for 12 um, tuck in the, the ends there rolling it and tucking in the ends on the other side until it's all the ways over and pinching it to keep it in place so I'll do that again just roll it over pinching in the ends on both sides to roll it all the ways over and I'm sure you guys have done this lots you probably got more tips than I got on this rolling spring rolls and that's all you need to do there so wetting the sides and just putting a nice alping in the middle and rolling it over and you can like I said you can roll these you can flap them you could make them into little pockets whatever way you want but this is just a quick version I wanted to use my air fryer and these are absolutely delicious in the air fryer so pretty much this is just a quick little appetizer for you to make if you want to have a little as Raymond says some snacky food oh, snacky foods any time is a good time oh, for a snacky food absolutely and we certainly can you picture like you know weekends you're sitting around and there you go you yeah. got company coming over and you just want a little something yeah, yeah. perfect I got this one over stuffed okay that's it mm -hmm. That's all you can do with I, that? I, I promise you I'll eat that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of them are so messy, but you know the, you know what I'm saying. You know the point. There you go. I think the reasons why I wrote my recipe that it's only 12. My grate that I put in the air fryer is just small. And I think it only takes about 12. So just uh, a while back, we did a, a review for um, Camdu, uh, Camdu um, air fryers. And I know we've had a lot of questions about it. I did share some links there. I like, I like ours, we use it lots. And, um, but uh, I guess for any technical problems with your air fryer, have to be sent back to them, of course. But myself and Raymond, Raymond makes his pizza sandwiches in oh, there. Yeah, and we got a recipe on Bonita's Kitchen for pizza sandwiches. And we also perfect one on chicken wings. Chicken wings. And yeah. like you said, um, maybe over this next little while, I don't know if you got an air fryer, um, that uh, we'll, we'll try to put together some more of those recipes that we, we make for ourselves. And, uh, but these as well could be baked in the oven. Yeah. So the same way I'm doing it in this air fryer, you could put it on um, a pan and I'm going to show you. I'm just going to drizzle some oil over the top and it yeah. bakes lovely. And of course, we all yeah. know they could be deep fried, but we're trying to stay away from a little bit of deep fried. So that's all you need to do there. There we go. So now all you need to do now, you can spray this with a vegetable oil. You can get some of that sesame oil some veg, uh, some um, olive oil uh, and just brush over the top of these delicious little corned beef spring rolls and cabbage my gosh cabbage and corned beef really say no more these mm -hmm. are delicious so now let's put them in our air fryer so my air fryer everybody's is different I got a little tray on the back because this is really hot and then I'm going to put the, the grate on top of that one so anything that's dropped 
dropping down it'll go on to this pan now I'm not promoting this brand use whatever one you got just as long as it's an air fryer or you can uh, put it in the oven so um, I'm just gonna put it on the chips it's 15 minutes but I'm only keeping it in there between seven and eight minutes and press it start because I don't have anything on here for spring rolls part way through I'm just gonna check them and then I'll show you what they look like so now our corned beef spring rolls are done just look at these absolutely delicious and not deep fried air fried I'm gonna put them out on the plate and we're gonna have a little taste like I was saying, just look at these delicious spring rolls, corned beef spring rolls made with shredded cabbage, carrot, onion. I know Raymond is waiting to reach there, but he's going to have to have one of these put into the dip. So we'll give you one of these <laughs> now, Raymond. We're mm. going to show you what they look like. Okie dokie. Now just look at these delicious spring rolls. I'm going to pass this <laughs> one to Raymond, dipped. Now, Raymond, don't burn yourself. Oh, you want to be very careful yeah, over there. They're that, pretty that. hot. And I'm going to cut one in half. Mm. And I'm going to show you what they look like. Isn't that ever delicious? You know you cooked it all before, but it's just beautiful corned beef spring rolls. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to have a little taste. Oh, my. This is... Is it, is it good? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, let me see. Wanting more and more and more. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely for uh, no. watching, uh, listening to some tunes and watching a movie. Oh, no problem. Delicious. Yeah. Raymond's got his all gone over there now, so hopefully he's not chewing too much in the background. I'm going right, to have well, a little I'm taste here now. The camera for a second. Mm. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Two thumbs up. If you've got an air fryer, perfect, perfect, quick meal or appetizer to make or put it in your oven. On the rack, 350 or 375 degrees or even 400 like the air fryer. And just be between 7 and 10 minutes, just until they're golden brown, you can roll them over if you need to do it on both sides. But that's it, good as it gets. I can't wait for you to make them. So this is a quick and easy recipe, a spin on mother's mustard sauce. I know Raymond said he's finished chewing over there now, so, oh, yeah. so he was ready to go in this next clip. The uh, recipe is gonna be posted in under this video, and if you can't find it there, you can visit us on our website, www.bonnetiskitchen.com, and you can print that recipe there. But if you never subscribe, don't forget to hit that link before you go. You can also visit us on our Facebook page, send us a message or a picture of one of your uh, recipes you've made from Bonita's Kitchen to bonitakitchen at gmail.com. We'd love to see it. And each month we share a video slideshow of our viewers' pictures on our Facebook page for everybody to see and for us to enjoy. And we thank you for sending those in. Okay, I'm not going to take any more of your time. We know it's precious and we thank each and every one of you for spending a little bit of it with us here today. On behalf of myself, Raymond and our team here well, oh, can't from Bonita's Kitchen who can't wait to get I into those to, yeah, exactly. corned beef spring rolls from our kitchen to yours. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful so, day. Again, don't forget to join us. That's Sunday here on Bonita's Kitchen. Kitchen to yours. Benita's kitchen. Benita's kitchen.